Hello my dear friends and welcome back to another Star Wars news update. In today's video we have some new information for the Andor series, we're also going to be talking about the book of Boba Fett, a rumour surrounding the return of Han Solo and more. As always my dear friends, before we dive into the news, please may I ask you to hit that big red subscribe button down below if you've not done so, and also be sure to smash that bell to be alerted every time that I post a new video. But without much further ado, and without any more jibber jabber, let's dive straight into the news. So we're going to begin with the book of Boba Fett, because Tomer Morrison, Ming-Na Wen and Robert Rodriguez have given some new information about the series in an exclusive interview with TV Insider. First and foremost, this interview confirms that there is going to be more than one season of the book of Boba Fett. Throughout the interview, he keeps referring to it as season one, or the show's first season. This is something we all suspected, but to be realistic, it all depends on the success of the first season. Now in this interview he also states that Robert Rodriguez directs three episodes, which is what we suspected given the list of directors. Now on the subject of Boba's character, Tomorrow Morrison says he's hard and raw, but he changes a lot. He's had a tough upbringing in terms of losing his dad and having to find his way and figure out who he is and where he's from. He's had a few chips on his shoulders. Now we also get confirmation that the series is going to start shortly after The Mandalorian Season 2 post credit scene, and they're quote, just setting up this underworld that's never really been explored. So it is going to carry on right after the Mandalorian season 2, so we really haven't missed much. They're literally just arriving at Jabba's palace and killing Bib Fortuna. So I guess we might see what they're going to do to his body. If there's already a rancor, maybe even Moochie, they might feed him to her. And what a treat he's going to be, a lot of meat on that Twi'lek, he's blubbergumptious. And then the article talks about the experience that Boba and Fennec have when combined together. They state, the dangerous underbelly to the sandy planet is going to be filled with threats for Boba and Fennec to fight off as they try to take control of the criminal inhabitants. And then Robert Rodriguez, the showrunner, states, they definitely get outgunned a lot. We'll quickly see how well these two warriors rise to the occasion, and as Ming-Na Wen recently said, it's very similar to The Godfather. She says, Boba grew up with that sort of military training and Fennec grew up on the streets. The combination of their knowledge and experience really complements each other. Now, Tamar Morrison talks about the fact that even though they united, it doesn't mean that sometimes they don't disagree. In fact, he even says that Fennec Shand does not agree with him, ruling with respect. Their still new union also benefits from shared experience, cheating the Grim Reaper. In his own words, Tomer Morrison stated, they could both relate to being buried in the sand, but bumping heads is not out of the question, especially in the early days of ruling Tatooine. Robert Rodriguez added, Boba has had his eye on trying to be different from Jabba, and maybe Fennec does not see it that way. But they make a great team, and she might even try to get Boba to be more strict and intimidate. The article then says they'll need that teamwork to take on the brutal fights ahead in this desert world, which Rodriguez was able to shape with one simple objective. He said, I always like action, and that tells you something about the character. They're doers, not talkers. So a lot of Boba Fett and Fennec Shan's character development is going to be in the action sequences and what they do as opposed to what they say. And this is what I spoke about when the official Book of Boba Fett trailer dropped, that even if Boba says he wants to rule with respect, it doesn't mean that he's going to. <laughs> his actions are going to literally speak louder than words. But something this article also brings up is that Boba Fett is not used to this. The way they word it is as follows. One thing's for sure, Boba and Fennec have a lot of work ahead of them in their quest for domination. Boba's a bounty hunter and he's not used to this, not just being in power, but trying to lead and deal with all sort of different factions. And Robert Rodriguez teases, Every time someone walks in, there's a new challenge, and you never know what's going to come through that door. And that little tease makes me think, we are going to see some familiar faces from the Star Wars underworld, and there are so many to choose from, especially in light of all of the rumours. We could see Bosk, Dengar, Cad Bane, ig Rebuilt, Embo, Dr. Afra, Hondo, Onaka, and so many others. So I wonder which direction they're going to take. Great stuff, and go over to TV Insider if you want to see the full article. But I just highlighted the main points and the big takeaways. So now, my dear friends, we're going to move on and talk about the Andor series, and I always love when there's something new to speak about. The Andor series, which takes place five years before the events of Rogue One. And if you're a prequels fan, do not write off this series. It might be linked to Rogue One, but it is going to stand alone as a spy thriller. In any case, we have a new update, 
Stellan Skarsgård, whose character is still unknown, has praised the writing on Star Wars Andor by Tony Gilroy. In a new interview, the Emmy-nominated Stellan Skarsgård briefly discussed his time shooting the Andor series. In addition to commending Tony Gilroy's writing, he also teased that his character will have, quote, different faces to show. Now this wording is very interesting indeed. By stating he has different faces to show, it's almost certain he's going to be a double agent. And one theory is that he could be part of the ISB, the Imperial Security Bureau. This is not the first time Skarsgård has spoken about the Andor series because earlier in the year, he said to the Daily Beast that Andor compared to Rogue One is much more mature and had a lot more atmosphere. At the moment, very little is known about the nature of his character, but with those few words, it seems like he is teasing a double agent subplot. And in his own words, he says, the writing is really good. It's the same writer that did Rogue One and also to work with Diego Luna, who's an old friend. So I was excited by that. And then my character is, well, you'll see, it's fun to play because he's got a lot of different faces to show. And also based on this quote, it looks like he got to spend time directly on set with Diego Luna's character Cassian Andor, so it's possible he might be on the side of the rebellion, at least for a portion of the series. We got a scissor reel, but we might know more about his character or his allegiance once a trailer comes out. And to be honest, Given that Andor is going to be released in quarter 4 of 2022, that's the financial quarter, not the quarter of the year, an official trailer is probably still a few months away. But when it drops, we might get hint at who he's going to be playing. So finally, my dear friends, a wild, wild rumour. This is from Giant Frickin' Robot, who I know do not have a very good track record, so you might be wondering, why am I covering this? Well, simply put, I'm going to give them a shot, even though this is just a rumour, because they have been right twice in the past. They were the only outlet saying that the Book of Boba Fett is going to be seven episodes long, which it is, and they also got it right when they spoke about multiple Mandalorians in The Mandalorian Season 3. So for those reasons, I am going to give it a chance. In a new rumour, they state, Harrison Ford is returning as Han Solo. Now, if they are going to bring him back, it could be in the Book of Boba Fett, and they may have de-aged him using the same technology as Mark Hamill for Luke Skywalker, which, as we saw in the Luke Skywalker behind-the-scenes special, functions as a deep fake algorithm. But all I've got to say is, can we just leave the man alone? They keep trying to bring him back as they did in the sequels, and that functioned fine. <laughs> But the mouse, Disney, had to write him a pretty f***ing fat check. And I think if they're trying to get him back again, for whatever project that might be, I suspect the check is going to have to be even bigger. According to Giant Frickin' Robot, which I just love to say, right now just say Giant Frickin' Robot out loud, you'll feel so much better. Anyway, they're stating he's already filmed for an upcoming project, which is why I suspect this could be in The Mandalorian or The Book of Boba Fett. My good friend Star Wars Only over at the Chatooine podcast did hear a scoop that Han is in The Book of Boba, and I think it makes a lot of sense to bring him back, but the big question was, are they going to use Alden Ehrenreich or a de-aged Harrison Ford? I honestly can't answer that question, but if this rumour is correct, then it's looking like Harrison Ford. The 79-year-old has recently been filming Indiana Jones 5, but photos from the set have shown markers on his face hinting at a de-aging CGI being used. If they're using it for Indy, then why couldn't Lucasfilm use it for The Mandalorian or maybe even The Book of Boba Fett? Now, I'm never opposed to Han Solo appearing. I would love to see a de-aged Harrison Ford if they can pull it off, but I wouldn't be upset if Alden Ehrenreich returned. I thought he did amazingly in Solo, A Star Wars Story, and while he looks pretty much nothing like Harrison Ford does, he captured the essence quite well. But now, my dear friends, I turn it over to you. Let me know your thoughts of this and everything we spoke about in the comments down below. As always, if you enjoyed this one, you know what to do. Give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and a huge welcome if you are. If you're feeling generous, why not consider becoming a patron? The link is down there and you get exclusive videos not found here on YouTube and you also get access to our Discord server. May the force be with you all. I'm Star Wars Meg and I'll see you in the next one.